Hello Summoners and Summonettes, Gordon here, and today I'm finally bringing you an Orin Jungle video on the PBE. I had a lot of issues trying to get my PBE updated and working again, and then the one time I got it working again, the PBE actually was done for maintenance, so we're finally back. Getting out the Orin video here, and uh, I've seen a lot of interesting things. I've done, we'll just say minimal research. I've just kind of seen what other people are doing playing them as, so... He definitely has a lot of interesting abilities in his kit. Looking forward to playing him. I chose to bring him in the jungle this game. I definitely think he can be utilized as a top laner. And potentially, maybe a support. It just depends. But, uh, gonna be starting off here. I made her take two auto attacks. Feels good. With our W here and clearing a red buff. And then we will go ahead and move on towards, uh, our E. We'll get our E and go towards Raptors. I cannot talk. But uh, let's go ahead and finish these off, and then we will actually go for a, uh, we'll go for a purchase when we can on our, with our passive, because we can buy things anywhere, no matter what, so, besides uh, consumable items, which is pretty cool. So we will try to pick up our machete as soon as we can, and that will just make our clear even safer. This, this guy's clear is actually ridiculous. He has decent clear speed, and it's safe and healthy because of its W that heals you, so kind of busted if you ask me, but uh, I'm not going to complain about it. So throwing our E against the wall there, knocking up the uh, wolves here, and then we will pick this up. I don't know how long it takes to actually buy when you're uh, not in the store, and I don't know if you have to be out of combat or not, so it'll be interesting, but uh, can we craft this? Okay, there we go. That's that's actually wicked cool. But now we have both components of our uh, jungle item, which is awesome. I don't know if I should have taken my Q level 3. Your Q is honestly pretty useless when playing the jungle. You don't really utilize it that often. I should have smited a long time ago. I got kind of distracted with uh, just Orin being Orin. Let's see if we can get a gank off in the bot lane, though, with Thresh. This should be a relatively easy gank to uh, connect with. She just tumbles. Gonna hit the Alistair up, nice. We're gonna throw down this Q and try to utilize it to slam this guy, knock him up. Pre-planning there on the uh, knock up there. That guy's gonna die. First Blood Draven. Easy stuff there. So, I didn't really explain Orn's abilities. I assume most of you have already watched the uh, Champion Spotlight, or hope you have, because he's definitely got an interesting kit, a very fun looking kit. And uh, let's go ahead and slam this against the wall, knock it up just so we can do some more damage to it. So, your Q is basically like a trundle pillar, except it actually damages when it flies out to the target location. The eruption of the pillar doesn't do anything, it just puts up a pillar, so like right here, we'll do damage to it, but then that up spike, it doesn't do anything. Except it allows you to create terrain, which if you slam terrain on your E, then you're going to actually knock up every target around it. So, there's going to be some interesting combos with Orn in my opinion, just because... He has uh, champions like Anivia, Jarvan, he can work well with, so it'll be very, very interesting. I have no idea what I want to build this game, and I probably should. But there is an Ornn in the top lane as well. Maokai in the jungle, okay. Let's go ahead and go for a little bit of an invade ski here, and just try and take some raptors away from this dude. Got two smites up too, so we'll just take those really quick. Let's see if we can go mid lane. I should have bought something, but I just, I don't know what I want to buy. I don't know if I want to go for a... Against the wall, chain CC, death. Dude, these ganks are actually... If you have good gank assistance, I think Orn is so terrifying in the jungle. Let's just go... I'm going to go Cinder Hope this game. So we'll buy a Bombay Cinder right now. That'll help us... Uh... Okay, you can't cancel that, by the way. I don't think you can. I don't think I was able to cancel that. But uh, yeah, let's just go for... Bomby Cinder, this will help our clear even more, even though he doesn't need it. I haven't used a single potion yet, so... Potions? You could probably get away with not buying them. I just bought them in case I get in a team fight and want a little bit of health. But yeah, definitely looking like a pretty freaking busted champion right now, if you're asking me. Maybe you need to go base for mana. That, like, might be the only thing if you don't have a blue buff active. Alright, let's see if we can pop in and snag this Orn. I don't think we'll get, we're gonna be able to kill it. Oh, he's really far forward. He actually might just die. 
I just have to make sure this guy doesn't slam me. Okay, he's gonna slam me, but we're gonna slam him up and we're we're committing to this. Oh my you're Alright, that's fine. That was well played by the Orn. It was still decently well played by us too, just because we uh we still got the knockup, just the tip. But we did indeed get it. Let's push this in and just force this guy to either teleport or do something else, but we'll base for now. I have two smites again, what the heck? Yeah, it's just base. And we'll, uh... I'm gonna pick up blue smite this game. I think that's okay. We'll grab a control word too, because we can't actually pick that up with our passive. So that'll help us out. I think next up, we'll complete our Cinder Hulk, and then what boots do we want to go this game? They have a ton of CC, so we're probably gonna go Mercreds this game. I'm excited to use my alt, though. His alt seems like such a cool ability. Call of the Forge God. Basically, it's a reverse Nami wave. It doesn't really knock up on the first one, but then you can hit your alt again, and it'll actually allow you to redirect the alt. So you basically get two casts of it, and then uh, if you redirect it, it will knock up the enemies if they get hit by the redirection. So I think it's a super freaking neat ability to just... It's so different compared to anything in the game. One thing I don't know is, if you cast it, does it automatically start, you know, at max range? Or if, can you, like, shorten the uh, length of it? I don't know about that or not, but I guess we'll find out. Riven going down there, sadly. Ari picking up the one for one, though. Should be able to sneak out of there, so that's good. It is a Cloud Drake. Not the best Drake for us. We don't really care too much about it, sadly. I need to stop, stop using my uh, Q on camps, because... And even in my E, actually. I should just use my W. If you don't have blue buff, his mana costs are pretty high until you get something like... Uh, I've seen a lot of people go Iceborne Gauntlet. I might be going that this game. Or I might also just be going full tank, so maybe we'll go Frozen Heart. But, uh, yeah. If you don't have blue buff, I recommend just using your W. Your W does a lot of damage, and it gives you that uh, passive. But I'm going to use my E here, just because it's Scuttle Crab, and there's Honey Fruit available. So. And we'll use Q to kill it, too. And our blue buff spawning. Sorry, Ari, my dear, you're not getting it. I love you, but I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> Right, let's go ahead and actually buy our Cinder Hulk while we're waiting. I wonder, I need to test something actually. I wonder if you can uh, forge an item while you're in combat with something. So right here, I could have used all my cooldowns and then just sat here and forged an item while I was waiting on cooldowns. I think that'd actually be incredibly efficient and I'm gonna test that out next time I have gold for something. But next up we're gonna go boots. I don't know if we'll rush Merc Treads, but I definitely wanna get at least the base boot. Now's a pretty good time for us to gank, just because, uh... Let's try and... Oh, he pulled him out of my... My thingy. Oh, well. <laughs> I still got assist of how. Dig. Okay, so I went for the preemptive alt there. Didn't get it. Ooh, okay, I'm trolling. Am I trolling, though? I'm super tanky. I need to get out of here, though. Oh, thanks for the heal. Okay, we almost killed the Bane. Oh, we killed her. Nice. Oh, we're dead, though. I need to get my E off. Maybe I can kill this Maokai. Oh, I should have taken the Lantern. My B. Okay, that dive was pretty crazy. <laughs> Alright, let's buy these. Uh, I guess another time you would need a base too is if you want to get rid of your uh, Trinket. So, at level 9 or past that, we will base and grab that Sweeper. Wait. Did she just in? Oh, she lied, apparently. That's a good old PBE, though. <sighs> what is Maokai building? What is Mao building? He's building a zeal? Okay. So I'm trying to think of what items I want to go. I'll probably end up going Knight's Vow. That'll be pretty banger this game. We'll probably get a Frozen Heart. Maybe we won't get a Frozen Heart. We'll see. I'm not too sure what AD item I want to go. Maybe we'll go Thorn Mao. That's pretty good. Especially... Even against Maokai, if Maokai auto attacks me, the uh, Grievous Wounds is pretty nice there, and then obviously for the Vayne. We're either going to get Thorn Mail or Frozen Heart, I'm undecided which one it is yet. It might end up being the uh, Frozen Heart, because I feel like you do need one mana item on this champion. I'm not too sure though. Good job picking up the uh, kill there. I need to get my vision down. I've had two wards for the longest time. We'll go ahead and put a regular word over the wall. Hello, my dear. Hello, my darling. Dude, what the hell is this Dimaggio, dude? 
has smite up too, so that was actually a really good uh if Riven was paying any bit of attention, she'd be able to help me out here. Let's go ahead and smite this guy, get a little bit of That's so depressing what just happened. Am I dead? Did she have ult? Where are you, Rivet? I killed myself. Okay, never mind, we'll live. Man, why did that take them so long to react? And now they both might die. We'll smite this guy. Oh, that was risky. I respect it, though. I Gromp might kill me, but we're going in for the, uh, the play. Just kidding, no we're not. Can this go over walls? I think it can. Man, if my soul winners had any bit of reaction time right there, we might have been able to get a lot of kills. Ooh, they're doing dragon. I like it. Alright, let's base. And... I guess we'll just start stacking some armor here. Because they're, they're going to have an AD Maokai, so I guess stacking armor is even better here. Their only AP, to my knowledge, is the uh, Ari in the mid lane, so if we shut her down, that's all they got. Hmm. Yep, this is fine. We'll go uh, Thorn Mail, and then we'll go Merc Treads, and then we'll probably go Nice Bow, and then we'll see what happens from there. Because this guy, he honestly has so much base damage already. He does max health damage, current health damage, I think, too. He does, like, a little bit of both. I'll confirm that in a second. Alright. I think we want to max our E second. I just think your Q is kind of a useless ability. It's literally only there if you don't have a wall to set up for. Current health. And then, yeah, max health. Nice. That's just... This guy's got a lot in his kit. I didn't mean to key right there. Oh, well. Alright, so let's see if we can... I think his gank setup is pretty gnarly too. That's Moby Boots, no tower. It's gonna be some good stuff. So you can lead with your alt, knock him back with your alt, and in that time, hopefully you have time to set up your Q and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and see if we can... I fucking whip. I don't want to talk about it. Get me in there! <laughs> I whip! Okay, so you have to be standing where the alt's coming. You can't just walk out of it. Interesting. We'll uh, throw that one to the uh, first time excuse. This guy doesn't clear his jungle at all. But I guess that's what happens when you're rushing a phantom dancer on Maokai jungle or something. Oh, I meant to. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna go to Krugs. Hopefully they don't take the Krugs. I wanna hit the Krugs and see if I can buy while in combat. So we'll use our W, we'll use our E, and we'll try and buy. A Bramble Bess. That's cool. That's actually really good to know. I think that's efficient to uh, buy while you're... You, you need to be kind of tanky enough. You know, be at the point where you have maybe Cinder Hulk or Bami Cinder. So the jungle doesn't destroy you. But you're already... You're just genuinely... Or generally... Already super healthy when you're clearing out the... Uh, take it. Oh, that was risky. But you're pretty... Pretty healthy already with uh oh got his flash okay with your clear so you use your cooldowns and instead of auto attack and just buy something while you're waiting. I heard you can only buy something though if you kill a camp like you can't just you have to have a it charged up or something. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't, I don't remember reading that anywhere to see if that's actually true or not. All right, that's an awkward dive there. This guy doesn't have vault. He's gonna die. And we're going to try and tower dive the vein. I do have my W up soon, so if this flesh plays her, she's going to die here maybe. Okay, she flashes out. If she got hit by the later part of my W, she would have been brittle. And we might have been able to pick up the kill there though. But that works. I mean, Draven might even just kill her now too. I'm trying to run at her. We do have minions to the tower though, so we can go ahead and try and knock down this tower. I think I actually might just base and pick up my... Uh, Sweeper, there's nothing left for me to do here. Oh, that guy's just gonna die. I'm sorry. Wait, he's living, and now I'm taking tower. Maybe I could've... I didn't expect him to do that much damage. <laughs> but yeah, I need a base, because there's nothing really for me to kill right here, and I need my oracles as well, so... Now's a good time to base. And we'll just pick up the, uh... Warden's Mail here, too. And then we'll go back and clear. Let's wait for a little bit more mana. There we go. That's good enough. And we'll actually go clear bot the top side and look to force down that top tower and maybe go for a Rift Herald. It should still be alive for a little bit if we 
Maybe if we skip Grump, we can get there at a good time to try and take it. So that's what we'll do. So, Orin upgrading. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody actually upgrade an item yet uh, while playing Orin, just because it's a lot of gold, and typically, if you're playing something like the jungle, you're gonna be kind of gold starved, just because it's a lot easier and you know guaranteed to get income in a solo lane compared to a jungling role here. So. I'm not sure if we'll actually get to upgrade something in this game, but it definitely looks interesting to me. Oh, get this. I tried to give him a free siege when in with uh, his, what's it called, Targon's proc. Ari's going to be top. I guess we'll just push this out then. I, I don't mind getting free XP. Y'all know what I think about free XP. Free XP is best XP. The redirection. Oh, did he get stunned? Or he, did he just whiff his all? That... I I feel for that man right there, dude. He didn't get his alt redirection. He would have killed both of them, I think, if he redirected that alt. Let's see if they're, uh... Ari's still chilling here. Gotta dodge the uh, charm here. But we'll go for the double slam. The wham bam. Oh, she's dead. Nice. I took a lot of tower shots there. I almost died. But, uh, got the alt off there. And she was not able to jig it with her alt. So, knocked her up. Able to pick up the kill. Our bot lane's currently in their base while we're knocking down just one tower. Feels good, man. Let's go ahead and look for this uh, Rift Herald here, though. If Riven comes with me, that'd be tight. Let's see if we can pick up our uh, Thorn Mail while we wait for her. Hopefully she actually comes. Alright, she's coming. Good. So we should be able to pick up this uh, Rift Herald relatively easily. They're all just respawning, kind of stuck in their base, dealing with our Draven pushing in, so there should just be a free Rift Herald, without a doubt. We are, uh, making it swap aggro quite a lot, though. But I think we'll get it right here on the next eye proc. No, there's not another eye proc, I lied. We won't smite them. We would have smited if, uh, we needed to. But now we're Ornn with an empowered recall as well, so just in case we need to, for whatever reason, we have the Empowered Recall. Our team did not get the, uh, who cleared my rates? What the hell? Our team did not get that inhib tower, though, sadly. Who cleared this? What the hell? Was this guy... Who has my red buff? Did Maokai just counter jungle me? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and, uh, go to the dragon and look to set up our Rift Herald here. And we can utilize our, uh, Passive next, hopefully, and pick up Merc Treads. That's what we'll go for. Damn, this Orn's talking. Shoot! I love it. Yeah, let's just get this, uh, her trick. Excuse me. 99% towards a left. You, you can go over walls. Good. Good to know. Wait, I already knew that. Just kidding. Alright. So this should be a free dragon. I don't think anyone can really reliably come and contest us. The Maokai is kind of just out of the game. Yeah, he rushed a Phantom Dance. I don't know if this guy is new to League or if he's just trolling, but you, you see a little bit of both of it on PvE. So uh, we're basically guaranteed to win just because they're 4 v 5 The Maokai is only there for his ult. Like, he's not going to do anything else this game. I don't care if Alistair's right here. Maokai just ran in and entered, I guess. Let's go ahead and use a Rift Herald. This will actually knock down the uh, Inhib Tower. It's already low enough to the point where uh, it should be able to just die. Oh, I didn't connect with the wall there. That's unfortunate. But what's more unfortunate is that guy not actually properly flashing. So yeah, this is just going to die. It's a Rift Herald smacking it. Let's go ahead and throw our all down and see if we can... Uh... Oh, I wanted the kill right there with my all swag on her. Okay, interesting first take on Orn. I had never played him before this game. That was kind of a half of a game. Like, we, we played well. Our ganks early on were actually really, really good. But then the Maokai just doing whatever he was doing. And I guess Alistair fed too. <laughs> this is as close of an even game as you're going to find on the PB side of it. Just because you see people of all skill level on the PB. But, uh... Definitely fun. I don't know if top might be a little bit better. Maybe I'll play him there and just see what we got. I think he is a viable jungler for sure if you have decent 
uh, gank assistance. It's pretty hard for him to just walk up and say gank for like a Janna lane, but I had a Thresh lane, I had a Riven lane, I had an RA lane, all very good at a uh, gank assistance. So I'm a fan of him. I'm actually going to be playing the crap out of him when he comes on lap. I think he's so much fun, and this was only like a little bit of a taste of his true potential for me. So I'm I'm already guaranteed playing this guy. And if they gut Evelyn with her rework, maybe I'm going to be an Orin main. We'll see. But uh, if you like the video, go ahead and like. I'll have all my other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as Wings Masteries in the info box down below. And as always, I'll see you all next time.